From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening as Americans return back from Thanksgiving weekend with celebration on hand. Why? Because Santa Simlas is landing in my members' hands. Americans who watch this channel, members are cleaning up with massive Santa stimulus received this week, last week, and they'll also be receiving in next week. We'll go over this big Santa stimulus. How much is it? The average viewers channel is now cleaning up with about 50, 60, 70, 80,000, but a lot of viewers are getting nearly 200 or 150,000 plus dollars. It's federal stimulus checks. Became law in the month of March, the viewership of this channel asked me to find it for them, and I did back in March. After I warned Americans watching the channel in February that we would be suffering a recession that would start the hurt in early 2023, they said, if you're right, LA, then find us some stimulus. And I did in March. And tonight, those checks have grown to $300,000 of checks, 300 different checks, federal government, every US state. We're going to go over all that incredible money in tonight's recording. Moreover, we're going to go over something that shocked the markets, shocked me, and shocked you if you watched Afternoon's LA right before the show. It is a brand new risk downward spiral of this economy that was not part of the equations no less than 24 hours ago. You thought you knew about recession. You thought you knew about inflation. You thought you knew about the housing market crash. Did you not know about something brand new out of China? It's really horrible news. It's a risk not assessed by the market, and it could throw this economy into a tailspin even more dramatically than ever before. That's why you have to get all those incredible stimulus checks. Go ride this video, become a member. Stay over this one hour broadcast as I go over every check that the members of this channel are getting and how you can get more checks tonight. And if you just found this channel tonight, I'm gonna to show you how to get massive amount of checks. Fastest routing time, two days. We'll go over all this incredible sums of money. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's a breaking news day with the markets reopening for the first day since Thanksgiving and turmoil hitting across the board. The market's down nearly 500 points with a brand new variant and a brand new concern we had not thought about before. What is it? The breaking news starts right now. Thank you for joining me on Evenings LA tonight from the shores of Santa Monica, California. The markets reopened for the first day since Thanksgiving weekend and turmoil hits. The markets fall dramatically down 500 points. What was the shocker of the breaking news? It was not unemployment. It was not the holiday sales. It was something totally new. The breaking news all starts right now on Evenings. How are you? Thank you for joining me. And hope you're having a beautiful day. If you missed that afternoon show today, I went back to the Christmas tree park, so watch that show. It was a two-part episode, really a lot of fun. And now you're going to see the tree come into the L.A. Light studio as well. So that's coming up in the afternoon shows this week across the board. Big stimulus checks have now been gotten by my viewers this channel last week, this week, and they'll be getting it next week. If you already have gotten checks on this channel, stay over this one-hour broadcast because I'll show you how to get more checks. And if you're a brand new viewer, welcome. You're watching the number one most watched show and channel in America for this money. It's stimulus. No one else covers the details about how to learn and earn and get this incredible sums of money. Step one, watch this entire broadcast. Step two, take notes if you've not become a member. And third, become a member. Go right to this video and get ready to get all the incredible checks. $300,000 of checks, but the viewership of this channel is really cleaning up averaging 18 months of stimulus checks five stimulus checks a month that is a lot of money it's literally nearly tens of thousands of dollars and i'm going to go over their success story how the success story can yours tonight i don't care where you are any type person with a cell phone can do this any person that listens and learn can do it if you're on disabilities we have a brand new inspirational story tonight from a person who is on disabilities and is literally 
cleaned up with let's run the numbers 14 plus 12 that is 26 checks plus another one 27 checks she's literally cleaning up she's on disabilities and she wants you to know you can do it as well ssi ssdi social security and rail benefits but first the breaking news the breaking news tonight is that the markets are in a massive downturn today not because of recession not because of inflation not because of poor holiday sales in fact they were very good those holiday numbers rather a totally brand new breaking news story tonight we did not even have it on this channel 24 hours ago what is it we manufacture products for our consumers by u.s companies in factories in china among the factories that we use over there are in an area of china that's under strict regulations and now those citizens of that region are in deep deep protests and are saying they're refusing to come into work this is big trouble for the american businesses why because the american businesses who make those products there and ship them back to you don't have those products you won't have the products as holiday sales they won't make the earnings this holiday season they won't have the salaries they won't have the income to pay the, the employees their salaries they could potentially lay off employees and this is on top of a recession, inflation, Federal Reserve, a surging unemployment claims. Folks, this is really horrifically bad news. And that's why the market was down 500 points. Let me tell you what's going on. In China, there's a region where we manufacture a lot of our products with our U.S. companies and then ship them back here. But those citizens of the Chinese society are protesting tonight and refusing to go into work. It's been going on for a few days. We got a very significant today. It's so serious that Wall Street is now worried that our major U.S. companies that employ you and your daughter and your son and your brother may not have those products to sell this holiday season. And this is the big time of the year to make that money to pay you the salaries for your labor, for your employment. They will not potentially have those products, potentially lay you off, potentially cause more economic downturn to this economy that's already struggling so badly. And this is brand new and there's nothing we can do about it. What is it? It's China. And the concern across the board is that this is a risk we have not assessed. What is a risk assessing? It means that you're looking at different variables and we try to pivot and you know do things. I teach on this channel, remove all variable debt, increase all your stimulus. You can do that because I can tell you how to do it and you can do it. You can't do anything about China because you're not there, but your son and daughter could get laid off because of what's going on in China. It's really horrible news. If it sounds familiar, it should. We started this year with two variables. Vladimir Putin invade Ukraine and supply chain disruption. We're potentially ending the year with supply chain disruption coming right back around again because of China. That's why you have to get the stimulus. If this was more of a warning signal than ever before to get stimulus checks, it really is tonight. Markets were in deep trouble today as they plummeted 500 points on the news. And this is a big warning signal to put the fire in your feet to get those incredible stimulus checks. Let's go over those big stimulus checks that are law, that have paid, that my viewers have received the money since the month of March. In the month of March, this is what happened on this channel. Viewers for 30 days starting in February of this year heard me say that come 2023, we will be in a deep recession for two years. You need to act accordingly. They said after hearing that in February, well, darn it, Ally, give me some stimulus checks. And in March, they put fire under my feet. I found your stimulus checks. And you have been getting them ever since. If you just found this channel tonight, I'm going to show you how to get them. But tonight, more fire to put under your feet. Because these concerns about a brand new hurt of our economy on top of recession, top of inflation, top of growing unemployment claims, on top of Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve, is a brand new concern that our products may not actually get into our stores this holiday season, and we may not actually generate the income that needs to pay the people their salaries. No bueno. No bueno. So let's go to those incredible stimulus checks. These great stimulus checks are law. They're from the federal government, from Congress and the White House. They're federal law. That means everyone can get them in every part of this country if you qualify. And you do. Single individual, $75,000 or less, annual income, go get it. 
married couple, 150,000 less annual income, go get it. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, there are stimulus checks for you as well. And incredible news, it doesn't matter if you have children, don't have children, live in this state or live in that state, it is all from the federal government. Tonight, the success stories continue to grow because what are the magnitude, what are the values, what are the amounts of these checks? Bigger than we've ever seen. In 2020, when the pandemic had just hit, there was not a lot of money in December 2020. And I searched really hard for you. It was really hard at the time. And I found a quarter million dollars for the entire viewership of the channel. Then, in 2021, Americans were hurting. And they had not gotten that second stimulus done. In fact, they never got it done. So I advocated to put a CR stimulus check in the CR. $600 stimulus checks went out to Americans because of me and you made history. But this time around, it's not $600. It's tens of thousands of dollars. The average payout that viewers of this channel are now getting is 18 months of stimulus checks. That's 18 months of MSCs. And that monthly stimulus check is literally thousands of dollars. They're getting on average about five checks a month over 18 months. That is about 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars. It's huge. It's happening all the time. Let's start with Frank Mancuso as our first example. He joined this channel as a member. And in less than 30 days, what did Frank Mancuso get as his success story? He got 18 months of check me, 18 months of utilities, 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of high-speed internet. Now, everyone has multiple utility bills. So that is about five checks a month, at least in there, maybe six. And that ain't 12 cents, folks. He joined just for a few cents, a few dollars to become a member of this channel. And look what he walked away with, tens of thousands of dollars. Frank Mancuso's story was mirrored and repeated by another viewer. Kimberly Morano last week, and Kimberly Romano, what did she get? She got 18 months of checks as well. Totally different state. She got 18 months of checks, all her utilities and her HOA fees, which was 360. So that's about 2,000 approximately per month, 18 months. That's $36,000 she got by becoming a member of this channel of stimulus checks. $36,000 of stimulus checks over 18 months of checks. Then she got a $4,000 stimulus check on top of that, bringing her $40,000 of stimulus checks. Then she got the Weatherizing Grant stimulus check, which is $12,000, bringing her then $52,000. She says, I'm so elated about all my approvals. Thank you, LA, for your programs. And Margaret Owens got a six more months of stimulus checks, six more stimulus checks just days ago. Tonight, we start with Lynn Glenn's success story. It embodies everything for this channel. She is a person who understands you really well. And here's what she says. I listen to you every day and I learn more by listening to you, Ally. Thank you so much for helping us and helping me, especially people like me that are on disability. This extra money I get every month because of you really helps me out so I can stay ahead of month spending and I don't have to spend money on my rent. How much money did Ling Lang get? So she got 14 months of utilities. 14 checks, stimulus checks of utilities. So for 14 months, she doesn't have to pay any of her utility bills. Imagine if you have five utility bills a month, 14 months of that, that's a lot of checks. Then she also got all her rent paid for 12 months. That's 12 months she, hasn't to pay, she does not have to pay any money for her rent. So guess what? how she explains this to you. Instead of having to pay money on the rent, she keeps the money in her wallet or in the bank. And she saves up that rent money normal rent money that she no longer has to pay for every month. So I'm putting the money I normally would pay with rent, I just put it away and I save it every month and I keep on, I keep on saving and saving. Uh, and now I can put away the rent for next month as well. I just keep on saving like I've always been saving and I'm not blowing my money. So she will be saving 14 months of rent, 26 months of utilities. That's not 26 checks because everyone has multiple utilities. Folks, that is just enormous sums of money. And she also got the brand new tablet this holiday season. What do you do? You go right on this video, become a member. Let's go over those three categories of checks right now. The first check is the, or category of checks, are the federal stimulus checks, FSCs. These were the checks that I found back in March when viewers said, Ally, if you're right that we're going to have our sessions with the real heart starting in 2023, find me a lot of darn money. Find me a lot of money because you're describing a two-year hurt. Yes, I still am. A two-year hurt will start in January 2023 and continue to 2024. So re by reference point, this is not a lockdown like 2020 for four months. 
This is two years of financial strain on your family. You got to get tens of thousands of dollars. And what my focus was in March was the following. One, I want to get massive amount of checks, tens of thousands of dollars for you. Second, I wanted to make it easy for you to get these checks by putting it into a newsletter. So you just go down and apply, go down and apply all together. Third, I went on a lot of different checks. And finally, I wanted broad eligibility. I want to make sure that you qualify and you do. I got checks for SSI and SSDI, veterans, RB, seniors, employed, non-employed, all in every U.S. state. We're going to go over all those incredible checks in just a second. Then we go over to inflation relief stimulus checks. I call it the icing on the cake, ISC as well. They're like icing on the cake. Not a big check, but also a very nice check. Then we go to lifetime stimulus, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Let's go back into the breaking news we're dealing with tonight. So the other breaking news we're dealing with tonight is really the big question mark of how bad this China story will be for you. Remember, you buy American products. When you go to buy that American product, that American product may have been bought made overseas by our American companies. They need to get that American product from overseas back into their stores here in the States. And if they can't, because the people who make it for us are striking, then you don't have a product to buy. If you don't have a product to buy, they don't have income. If they don't have income, they don't have any money to pay their employees. They will lay them off. The big problem tonight is evidence, of course, in Apple. Apple is one of the big casualties of the story tonight. The stock was down 3% just today alone on the news that its major factory, Foxconn, has nothing to do with Fox News, uh, is subject to these big, big protests currently tonight in that country and it could grow across the board this is in a day in which it's a very very bad and confusing market william sonoma which is a high-end business high-end housewares you would think rich people have a lot of money to spend in william sonoma it's going to do well no matter what you would be wrong the stock was down 5% today when Morgan Stanley downgraded it after other people downgraded it last week, saying that it is dependent on the, upon the housing market. Because when you go to sell that home or flip the home, you're going to put some nice home appliances in there. You're not flipping the home. The stock is down now 46% year to date, mostly because of the housing market debacle. Wow, what a show this is. And we are just into the first few minutes. Now, the... Major stories we thought we were going to hear on a Monday like this was the impact of those labor numbers from Wednesday, the impact of the Federal Reserve minutes on Wednesday, the countdown for the, 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 the complete numbers from those holiday sales. We were looking to see that type of data today. It didn't come in because the China story is huge. I mean, it's, it's monstrous. The way this economy works, the way your wallet works is that you want to know all the risk. What's the risk that my son or daughter loses, loses their job? What's the risk that um, that inflation will go higher? What is the risk that Jay Powell's going to raise more rates? You need to know these risks. But if suddenly there's a brand new risk that no one was even talking about 24 hours ago, lockdowns in China, protests in China, can't get the products to the United States, we can't sell products that we make over there, we don't have income. Oh, Boy, this is a very, very big issue, and it could negatively impact everything across the board. Now, let's go into the breaking news you may have missed over the weekend. The breaking news that we saw going into the weekend was the following. Number one, the labor numbers were horrible. The labor numbers were horrible. The new jobless claims numbers were released on Wednesday. They were awful. How bad were they? Let's recap. We had been 140,000 jobless claims early this year. Then we surged to 260 by the summer. Then we improved. We really improved a lot, all the way back down to 140. But tonight, we're at 240 after surging to 220 last week. That was the major story we thought we would be hearing tonight. We're not. The other story we thought we were going to hear tonight was the Federal Reserve minutes, because those minutes were huge. In those minutes from the last meeting of the Federal Reserve from last month, the Federal Reserve, which determines monetary policy for you and I, said the following. They said that they will continue to spike those interest rates for 
some time until they get inflation down to 2% as its target, or currently at 8%, and that they may certainly ease off a little bit from a 75 basis point to a 50 basis point in the latest meeting just a few days from now. And they're looking for inflationary data. That inflationary data will be on this channel in no less than, what, four days? December 1, approximately. When the personal consumption expenditure index is released, big news. But ultimately, all that story, all that news, also the holiday sales. The holiday selling numbers were great. Online sales were up about 3% year to date. And this is a record number. It goes up every year, usually 10%, but only this year it went up 3%. Online sales, great. Black Friday, great. Good numbers. In-store transactional activity, great. Federal Reserve, uh, problematic. Jobs numbers, bad. All that was overshadowed by this big shock of a story about China. And remember, you have sons or daughters, friends and neighbors that work in stores. They may work in the Apple store. They may work in the Home Depot. They may work in the uh, computer store. They may work in the um, in, in the consumer product store. Those products are made by us overseas, shipped back to us. And if they can't get those products to us, they businesses will not have incomes this big month of December. They don't have the income the month of December. They will lay people off. Big problems. And that's why you have to get all this incredible stimulus. Let's look at these huge numbers of stimulus that viewers are getting and show you how to get these stimulus checks, starting with the federal stimulus checks. Wow. These federal stimulus checks became a law in the month of March. My viewers have been getting them since March. I'm going to show you how to get them starting right now. Get your pen and paper out and take notes if you're with the newsletter in front of you. Follow along with that newsletter right now. There are three cat three kinds of checks, A, B, and C. We're going to start with in these federal stimulus checks. But first, let's understand what are federal stimulus checks. Where do they come from? How do they work? What do we need to know? And what's at issue? These federal stimulus checks started in March from Joe Biden. $100,000, the first few checks passed by Joe Biden by executive action in the month of March. They are huge. And immediately were featured on this channel the night they were passed by Joe Biden. Viewers immediately started getting them. And the great news is that you still qualify. They are still funded and they're still law. Single individual, $75,000 less annual income, go get them. Married couple, $150,000 less annual income, go get it. And if you're on SSI and SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Babbitts, go get these stimulus checks for you right now. Then came Congress and passed more stimulus checks in a beautiful bill establishing stimulus checks E through K, bringing us to then hundreds of stimulus checks for you across this channel. Then I found more checks, L and M and an O, P and Q. They're all together in the LA newsletter. In that LA newsletter, I do all the work for you. All you have to do is go down that newsletter, deliver for me to you, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time via YouTube alerts, and click the link and go right and apply. The members of this channel are cleaning up, cleaning up tens of thousands of dollars after just becoming a member in less a few weeks, it's incredible. And I'm going to show you how to do all that in tonight's recording. And without even a delay, let's go right into the first three checks right now. Those first three checks that the Purple Power are getting are check A, B, and C. Check A, $6,500 to $12,000 for a stimulus check in every U.S. state. How do you get this wonderful $12,000 stimulus check? You go into the video join the channel, subscribe, like the video, comment on the video, share the video, and get that membership newsletter delivered for me to you via the YouTube alerts, Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Go down that membership newsletter, you see check A, click the link, and go right and apply. This is the wonderful check that Spelly got, and also Kimberly Romano. You're not done there yet. After you become a member and you open in that newsletter, you go down to check B as well. Okay, now this is the big check. This is the check. The viewers are getting 18 months of it, and look how much money that is. Fifteen dollars to $80,000. Wow. And again, this is the check that Frank Mancuso got. 18 months of checks B, folks. He joined as a member of this channel, and in less than 30 days for just spending a few dollars to become a member, he got tens of thousands of dollars. It's happening all the time. Why would you not become a member? Do it right tonight. Become a member. 
get all this money because this economy is getting worse. The holiday season is upon us. Inflation is picking up and recession is picking up. And consumer spending is not particularly as strong as it once was. Get all this credible stimulus in that membership newsletter. But we're not done there yet. That's only check B. After check B, you're going to go down to check C. This is the check that checks that Lynn Glenn got. She got 12 months of rent, 14 months of utilities. Yes, check is rent. Check C is rent, utilities. Mortgage assistance and more. How do you get it? You go under the video, join the channel. Subscribe, hit that bell under the video, share the video, comment under the video, and get ready to get some check C. In the membership newsletter, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Let's look at the incredible success stories that viewers have had with Check C since 2020. Do you want $30,000 of rent? We'll go get some Check C's. That's what members of this channel have gotten on rent from this channel since 2020. This channel has gotten people $50 million in the last two and a half years. Do you want some of that $50 million? We'll go with some Check C. For rent for utilities, you already met Lynn Glenn. Well, here's Mark. He got $6,500. His brother-in-law, $15,000. Want that numbers? Then get some Check C. Become a member right tonight. Snap. Combinations of checks. Snap. Mark's brother-in-law is getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years. And then combinations of checks. Here we go. Mark got a combo of checks. He went from 32000 to 50000 Here's his combinations of different checks. Then he went from 100000 to $166,000. In the membership newsletter, Check C, I tell you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. You can do this just with your cell phone. That's all you need. Cell phone and a piece of paper and a pen to take notes. Lorraine, she was at 105. She went to 155. And the success stories continue to come on in. Dragon, triple member to all three channels. She's sitting on $170,000 she has gotten from this channel. Johnny's gotten $250,000 of stimulus checks for 20 friends and neighbors. Success is all for you. And Kimberly Romano, of course, is from last week as well. Uh, we also had a beautiful uh, success story from Margaret Owens last week. She got six more months of one of her utilities and other utilities as well. Last week, she had already gotten stimulus before. And Lynn Glenn, of course, it up, uh, upgraded her stimulus because she was originally at, let's see if I can remember this, she was originally at... 10 months or 5 months of rent, and then she brought it up to 12 months of rent. And Spelly got another round of rent from Check C. What are you doing? You go under this video, become a member. Go under the video, hit the bell so you have all notifications set to all on. And then go under the video and hit the button, join the channel. Join either LA1, LA2, or LA3. Three channels of this incredible broadcasting family. You're watching the number one most watched financial news channel for this subject matter in America, number three overall, with live tape, short and long form programming on all three channels. LA1 started it. LA2 features Stimulus Live 24 hours a day. LA3 features Wall Street Live. And then new shows all the time. A lot of viewers are loving the brand new 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time show called LA Late Night, where I jump in the live chat and we talk about anything you have questions about across the board. In the big second half, we're going to continue with these big federal stimulus checks. Then we go over to inflation release stimulus checks. Then lifetime stimulus checks. We'll go back into the breaking news why certain companies are going to be really hurt badly from this housing market downturn, auto market downturn, and also the impact of this brand new shocker of a story tonight, the lockdown and the protests in China that could negatively impact your wallet here as early as this month. The incredible breaking news, all new tonight, heats up the big second half. I'll see you back in 60 seconds with this and more as we continue a big show tonight with lots of stimulus in that big second half. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them 
and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Lake Daily for the excitement of the new LA Lake Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Lake at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues. Now, in the big second half, from the shores of Santa Monica, California, massive stimulus came from Congress right after Joe Biden. And that brought us checks E through K, hundreds of checks. And we're going to jump into those brand new checks, E through K, L and M, N and O, P and Q, starting right now in the big second half that the Purple Power membership are getting. Did you become a member of the Purple Power during the commercial break? Do it right now, because this amount of money is available right now. We don't know how long it's going to be available. And if more problems keep on hitting this economy, imagine how big that stimulus stampede will be come January. Let's look at Credible Check E, a $7,500 stimulus check. Go get it. Check F, a $4,000 stimulus check, all in the membership newsletter. Then Check G, 20% off stimulus check. Then Check H, a beautiful $2,000 stimulus check. Check I, a two, an $8,000 stimulus check. Check J, an $8,000 stimulus check, and then check K, a incredible $14,000 stimulus check. At Stimulus L, we have a beautiful $100,000 on average loan interest free money, and then M, $4,000 stimulus check. Then at N, incredible, my favorite stimulus item of all of them, brand new tablet, brand new computer, brand new laptop, and free internet. I've been reporting about this check for a while, and John Maloof got on Mornings I Light, brand new tablet, in the live chat. He said, I'm watching you on the tablet. I said, great, John. Now go get some more money, as I always do to viewers this channel. Guess what happened? 48 hours later, $24,000. Guess what also happened? I recorded his success story and inspired Spelly, who got the tablet as well. And Spelly I recorded, and that inspired Lynn Glenn. Will you be, will you be the person to be inspired tonight as well? Then it's stimulus O, zero down payment, zero closing costs for a brand new mortgage. And then stimulus P, which is a beautiful 3% refi, and Q, $8,000 stimulus check. And there you go. Those, my friends, are your beautiful FSC federal stimulus checks. What are some of the details more that we know about these checks? First, the largest check, $100,000. Smallest stimulus check, $8,000. Fastest routing time for the stimulus checks, two days. Johnny started on Monday. By Wednesday, he had $45,000 of stimulus checks for this channel. By Friday, he had applied with 15 places, got eight approved, half or rejected as well, and ace $80,000. The next week, he helped his mom, $50,000 stimulus checks, dad, $50,000 of stimulus checks, and then his 20 friends and neighbors, a quarter million dollars of stimulus. We have stimulus checks for the home, home appliances, home repairs, the car, the internet, the computer, the tablet. It's all incredible great news. Again, these are federal stimulus checks from the federal government. They administer it. They pay it. It has nothing to do with your state. Next up is inflation really stimulus checks because icing on the cake is always wonderful, but it's still not the cake. ISCs are icing on the cake. They are about $1,000 stimulus checks on average from the states, and the details of them are all in the membership newsletter down at Check D, where I tell you the states and how to track them. And finally, a lifetime stimulus, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Now, the huge news on this is that you are going to get four raises, says Jay Powell. Why? Jay Powell has indicated there'll be two more years of inflation. If he's right, that's basically saying you're going to have two more raises. Let's recap. Imagine two years ago, you were in the first floor of an office building. Well, last year, they raised you up. This year, 5.9%. You went to the second floor. 
Next year, you go up to the third floor with an 8.7% raise. Then you have a raise after that to the fourth floor and a raise to that to the fifth floor in the next two years. Meantime, by year four, when you're on the fifth floor, the items you're buying will be the cheapest of a generation, so you'll have the higher, largest check and the smallest payout across the board. And those are your federal stimulus checks, your inflation relief stimulus checks, and your lifetime stimulus checks. Go right on this video, become a member, hit that bell so you have all notifications set all to on, like the video, share the video, comment under the video, and more importantly, start right tonight applying for some federal stimulus checks. FSC, these are tens of thousands of dollars. You should be getting those right away. Then just learn a little bit about those ISCs and watch the rest of the videos tonight where I go over this more for you and explain more about how to do it. It's so straightforward. It's so simple. And welcome to the nearly 100 new members of this channel in the last 48 hours. It's all huge. And with this big second half, let's continue with the breaking news we're dealing with tonight, which, of course, is the big trouble out of China. This big trouble out of China could really hit us where we do not want to get hit in a very, very fragile economy already. The breaking news on the big second half continues right now on tonight's Evening's LA. Let's analyze where we were just 24 hours ago before this China news hit. Number one, unemployment claims are the largest, second largest of the year. We had gone all the way down to 140 again, which is an improvement. But now we're at 240, 240,000 new jobless claims in the biggest labor period of the year, December, when everyone's buying, buying, buying. So you should not have that many unemployment claims in December. 240,000 is a horrible number. Number two, you have the inflation not down. It's still at about 7 half percent. So j has not got inflation down that much. It's still tracking really almost the high end of the entire year. Number three, housing market has really crumbled. Housing market, the existing home sales down, new home starts down, build of confidence down. And auto, same situation. No one's buying a car because they're not going to afford the car loads. Two industries really already collapsing. The third potentially could be apparel, but we don't know where because several apparel companies are doing really quite well. So a very, very fragile earning season, earning season with companies, number one, a bad situation for labor, number two, a bad situation with interest rate spikes from Jay Powell, who's going to continue to do this into 2024, and finally a bad situation with inflation and recession, both with us. And imagine on top of that, now we have China. Wow, just really troubling. So how badly could China hurt us? We really don't know, but here's the worst case scenario of this China storyline. The worst case scenario is that the stores that make products, the American stores that make products in China and ship them back to us and try to sell it to you this holiday season won't have the product or they'll have very little of the product. And instead of having $20 in income this holiday season, that business may only have $2 of income. And they only have $2 of income in already a problem economy where people may not have a lot of spending power. Imagine what happens then when they go to report their corporate earnings come January, February next year. And they said, we didn't make that much money because we didn't have the products. They're going to lay people off. Now, here's another part of the equation, which is so obvious, but a lot of people will explain this to you. Let's assume not a bad case scenario that... They have the products, they just can't ship them because the people are protesting, and they're not able to put the products on the planes or the ports and ship them out. That's also a big problem as well, because guess what? The products show up in January, February. Not what you want as a business. You want those products there in December, because people buy in December. They don't buy in January, February. We talked about that all this month long. The Spending of an American consumer right now is very fragile and is believed to be most, mostly based upon debt spending. So they're going to go in the store and buy what they can see right now. They're not going to be back in the store in January, February, because they may be out of credit card limits by then. So if your products show up for that China factory hit by strikes this week and the products show up in February in the stores, consumer won't be there buying in February. Consumer was there right now and you didn't have the product. So that may be in the better case scenario, and that's not even a good case scenario at all. Finally, what's the, what's the only, um, what is the only possible 
wash even storyline. The only possible wash even storyline is that they got enough products in the American business far before the season got hit by the demand of the consumer and far before the China situation unraveled. We don't know. We really don't know. And the reason that we don't know is why the markets were down 500 points today. Because you and I don't know the answer. We don't know the answer. And when you don't know the answer, it's called risk. And when you cannot assess the risk, you get scared in your socks. You get really scared in your socks when you do not know what is going to be the end story of this China situation. Three variables, three possibilities just went over with you, and I have no idea which one it's going to be, nor do you, nor do any all analysts. In fact, the businesses may not even know themselves. That is a very, very scary situation. Ultimately, this is really why you have to err on caution across the board. Now, let's look at some things that we can analyze, that we do have our skill set available, and we can assess risk. Housing's impact on non-housing issues. William Sonoma. William Sonoma is a high-end retailer that has those gadgets, the espresso machine, the coffee grinder. that are big ticket items, $300, $400. You would assume it caters to rich people and that rich people can buy those items. Not necessarily so. The people who buy in William Sonoma are often people who are selling the home or flipping the home or building the home and putting the appliance in there because they think that when they can sell the home, it will sell better if they have expensive William Sonoma product in there. Well, what happens if they're not selling the home? What happens if you're not buying the home? Then, yes, here you see it for the first time on tonight's broadcast, a non-housing business is going to get hurt by the housing market crash. William Sonoma will get hurt by the housing market crash. In fact, it already has. Today was the latest day in this third day in a row, I think, on this channel where another bank downgraded William Sonoma and basically said, get out of the stock. Morgan Stanley downgraded William Sonoma to, uh, to underweight, meaning uh, it's one step above a sell, saying that the stock could fall even further based upon a difficult housing market. The stock was down 5% today. How far down is that stock this year alone? 45%. And the housing market's far from over in its downward spiral because those interest rates are coming in higher from Jay Powell all the rest of this year, next year. So mortgage rates could go from 3% to 7% where they are right now to potentially 8%. Imagine what's going to happen to a we in Sonoma right then. And what about the employees that work in the store? What about the, you know, the 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 the, the, the starting employees that work in Wien Sonoma? Maybe they're not going to need as many of them. Maybe they're going to get laid off. You see how suddenly a person selling an espresso machine may not think that the housing market has anything to do with them, and yet it has everything to do with them across the board. Confusing market and important to know all the variables. Finally, my commentary tonight, and my commentary tonight is really a takeoff on William Sonoma. I personally never would have thought of something like William Sonoma. I would have thought housing. What would housing hurt in this economy? Me, no. Um, would it hurt a banker? Yeah, that one I can understand. It would hurt a banker who sells a mortgage, so there's less people buying a mortgage. I could understand that. It would hurt the contractors and the architects. I would understand that. But a, a housing market crash hurting a college student out of college that's working at a starting job at Williams-Sonoma selling aprons. How is selling aprons hurt by the housing market? It's fascinating how these parts of this economy are intertwined across the board. And my commentary is that this is why I'm here to educate you. And sometimes I learn as well. We're here to learn to earn. It's not something you're going to learn by reading only the title of a video. As we go into the later part of this month and as we start a brand new year, there will always be people that are not you that are doing that superfluous, that on the surface reading a book by its cover situation. All they do is they see the title of a video. All they do is turn on the local news. All they do is talk about stuff on the front porch. They don't take the time to really learn about what's going on. And guess what happens? The way you get ahead in this society is with information. You don't get ahead with money. You get ahead with information.
If you have no idea what's going on, you are left behind. And my viewers are never left behind because I always give you the information. Before anyone else, I don't just report the news. I predict the news for you as well. I told you an inflationary environment with 8% inflation would hit in December of last year, months before it ever did, and it was not going to go away. And I told you to prepare accordingly, getting rid of all the variable debt that you had. And my viewers did, as Terry Rose said, thank you for giving me that advice at the time, because I got rid of all those instruments in fall of 2021. Americans who weren't listening or learning got hurt, because they may have put all that credit card debt on the credit card last year, or may have bought a car last year, and now they can't afford the debt. Then I said that a recession was going to hurt, hurt and hit really badly starting 2023. I recorded that in February this year. Hasn't hit yet, but it's coming next year. And ultimately, if you didn't hear that in February, didn't even hear it tonight because you weren't a viewer, you're not preparing for the risk. And of course, the last and most obvious example is tonight's broadcast. Imagine if I had not researched for tonight's broadcast. Imagine if I just repeated last night's news. Imagine if I had just reported last night's news, which was um, a beautiful view of Monica Blanco in, in Boca Raton telling us about how um, Forever 21 had a lot of consumers in there and Abercrombie and Finch and, uh, did great holiday sales and there was a lot of business and Bath and Body Works. Imagine if I just repeated that. That would be all that you were learning today and potentially not anything new from the night before. But I didn't. I took the time to research why the market was down 500 points. Then I tried to research why that, that situation is so important. And then I took the data and I tried to analyze it for myself saying, well, wait a second, how bad could this China situation be for us? How much have we not assessed the risk? And how bad could the situation unravel and how good could, the situ could we get out of the situation? And I present that all for you tonight, and yet I don't even have answers out of China. Ultimately, and if you miss a broadcast, you're at a deficit. If you miss the information, you're not learning, and ultimately, you could be left behind. Imagine that person on the front porch tomorrow that says, I know everything about inflation. I know everything about recession. I know everything about Jay Powell. Did you hear about what happened in China? No, I did not hear what happened about China. But I'm not in China. It doesn't concern me. Oh, yeah, it does concern you. It concerns you more than Jay Powell. It concerns absolutely everything about you because that product, even that chair on that front porch, may have been made in China by the furniture manufacturer down the street. And yet you don't know what's going on in China and you don't know how bad this situation could be for you. There's a lot of financial news to report on a given night. And ultimately, it's my job to make sure I have it for you. All that I can do is deliver the news. All I can do is educate you. All I can do is show you how to get stimulus. And if you listen and learn, you'll always be ahead of the ball game. The programming continues throughout the night as we go into more shows tonight across the board. Uh, at 6 o'clock is Countdown. 7 o'clock, Stream Stimulus. 8 o'clock is Extra. 9 o'clock is Sunset. And over the recent days, I've been trying and, and having a lot of fun and our brand new 8 o'clock show, I know it's opposite extra, that is called LA Late Late Night or something like that. It has no particular name. It's a lot of fun and it is very informative and it gives me the opportunity to really get a sentiment of where you things are. It's a great opportunity for you to ask questions and for me to answer those questions for you as well. The programming continues tomorrow morning on Mornings LA at 9 a.m. live on air. We start the day at early morning to LA at 4 a.m. Then morning's countdown at 7 a.m. We continue into that noontime show, Holidays LA, and then our afternoon shows 1, 2, and 3. And all that Holidays 1, 2, and 3 shows as well now feature me in the Christmas Tree Park. So much incredible details and so much to know across the board. Finally tonight, let's compare you, the Purple Power, me, to those non-purple power people. Those non-purple power people simply are not wanting to improve where they are. What they're doing is repeating something they heard in the news two years ago. Whatever happened to that CR for stimulus? Whatever happened to that Build Back Better Act? Whatever happened to uh, what Liz Warren promised when running for president? Liz, ran, Liz Warren ran for president, yeah. Uh, not 10 seconds ago. 
And all they're doing is repeating something from months ago. They're not improving their understanding. Moreover, if they just come into a video and read the title and then don't even watch the video through, they don't have any understanding what's going on. It's always a laugh a minute for me uh, under my breath, and maybe you're laughing out loud when they jump, those people that are not members of the channel, they're not subscribers, and they're not really even viewers, jump into, the, uh, into a video before it even starts and says, there's no check. They've been talking about this for two years. No one's gotten a check. And I just want to say, um, one of these days, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> one of these days, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go down to the little um, uh, party store and buy some party dollar bills and just get those party dollar bills in two hands like I'm 50 cent. <laughs> and every time a viewer has another success story, I'm just going to wave those dollar bills in my face and I say, yeah, no, one, no one's gotten any stimulus check yet. Yeah, no one's got any stimulus checks yet. I don't know where I'm getting all these dollar bills from. But no, and congratulations to um, to Kimberly Romano, who got, you know, 18 months of checks, um, you know, $80,000 of checks. You know, it's, it's, no one's getting any checks. And I just, uh, where did all these dollar bills in my hand come from? <laughs> it, it's sort of like the elephant in the room, and, and the elephant um, is talking, <laughs> and the elephant's dancing. And that person doesn't notice the elephant. <laughs> Ultimately, a lot to digest, a lot of fun, and a lot of excitement. And yes, if you've been wondering, where the world is that? Cooking shows. Those cooking shows are coming to LA3 in just a second. They've been taped. i got more shows to tape for you across the board. I know I have a late on them, but they will be coming across the board. Go into this video become a member because this is the channel where you are ahead of everyone else. You are improving yourself. You are doing so well. Continue to do everything you do. Become a member. Be part of this incredible Purple Power community. God bless you all. Happy holidays to you and your family. And thank you for always watching the videos. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with a light for more.